Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 178. 178 in the series of basic math. And today we will do, today we will have our very last lesson in the series of seven on the topic of unit digit. The problem is already on the blackboard. We did a very similar question, very similar questions to, to what we are about to do yesterday. If you have not watched yesterday's video, day number 177, it is imperative, it is crucial, it is vital, it is essential that you go and watch that video first. Otherwise you will have trouble understanding this, this problem. I, will not, I do not have a luxury of keep repeating everything all the time. I'm going to go through it go through the problem at a little bit of a faster pace. I take it for granted that you have watched yesterday's videos and you understand most of the concepts that are involved in it. So let's do it together. The question is, what is the remainder? What is the remainder when 2 raised to 125 is divided by 5? What's the this was the answer from yesterday. These are the answer choices, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the 5 answer choices. This is the work from yesterday. What I want to do now what I want you to do now, in the event, in the event that you have not done this problem yet, pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds' time, as we always do. I will give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. And as you're doing the problem, as I said, if you have trouble, watch the video from yesterday. It will help you. Do you understand? So, one more time. What's the remainder when two raised to 125 is divided by five? Alright, what's the remainder when 2 raised to 100 and, and 2 raised to 125 divided by 5? What the remainder is going to be when we divide this quantity by 5 has everything to do with what this quantity ends in. What is the unit digit? What is the unit digit of this quantity? Which is why it falls in the category of unit digit problem even though it doesn't look like it. And what the unit digit is going to be is something that we need to work on right now to figure out. Obviously, we're not going to try. Obviously, it's just, I don't have to point out the bloody obvious. We're not going to go up to 2 raised to 125 all the way. Obviously, there is a pattern. There is a pattern. All, all we have to do, our job here, is to be able to recognize this pattern, find out how, how what the pattern is, how long does the pattern last, how many beats does the cycle have. Do you understand? Let's find out. Shall we? So we're going to start out with something simple. 2 raised to 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, and so on and so forth. 2 raised to 1 is 2, then we have 4, then we have 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on and so forth. Let's find out what happens when we divide this quantity by 5. We're going to divide this quantity by 5, and we're going to make a note of the remainder. When you divide 2 by 5, when we divide 2 by 5, what? Well, 2 has no 5's in it. 2 is too small to have any 5. It has 0 5's. It has 0 5. 5 times 0 is 0 and the remainder is 2. In other words, 2 doesn't do anything. The remainder is 2. Similarly, 4 is too small when you divide by 5. It cannot go into it. It's going to go 0 times and 4 is left over. The story begins from here. When we divide 8 by 5, the remainder is 3. When we divide 8 by 5, the remainder is 3. 8 by 5. I don't know why I'm pointing out such obvious thing, but as you can see, the remainder is 3. After 8 comes 16. When we divide 16 by 5, it's going to go 3 times, and the remainder is going to be 1. What do you suppose we need, what will happen when we divide 32 by 5? When we divide 32 by 5, the remainder is going to be 2. When we divide 64 by 5, 60 goes into 5. 60, goes, 60 is divisible by 5. It will give us a remainder of 4. Are you beginning to see a pattern? There should be a pattern emerging by now. By now, there should be a pattern emerging. The pattern is this. As you can see here, this is the pattern. 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, forever and ever. It will never end. If we were to continue, it will never end. This is a pattern. The cycle has four beats in it. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have a power of 125. Our job is to find out 125 has how many cycles in it? Let's find out, shall we? 
we're going to divide 125 125 by 4 we divide 125 by 4 how many 4 does 1 have? 1 has no 4 1 goes and joins the 2 becomes 12 1 goes and joins the 2 becomes 12 how many 4's does 12 have? 12 has 3 4's 12 has 3 4's so that's it we're done how many 4's does 5 have? 5 has 1 4 with the remainder of 1 but, but listen do not confuse this remainder with this part that we're doing here just keep listening with the remainder of 1 that remainder tells us this remainder that this this work that we just did here it tells us this work tells us this work tells us that we have we have 31 31 complete cycles and one more to go one more to go 31 complete cycle and one more to go uh, in other words 31 times 4, 31 times 4 is 4 and 12, 124. Had this been, had this been 2 raised to 124, had this been 1, 4 raised to, 2 raised to 124, it would have ended at the last, uh, it would have ended at the last, last, last point in the cycle. 2, 4, 3, 1 and that, this, this one would have been the end of the, this one would have been the end of the 124th cycle. We're not going to end the 124 cycle because this is not 2 raised to 124. It is 2 raised to 125, which means we'll finish. Which means we'll finish our 31 cycles, and we still have one more to go. One more to go, which means it's going to end right here. In other words, 2 raised to 5, 2 raised to 5 would end in a 2. You see right here, 2 raised to 5, right here. 2 raised to 5 will end in a 2. 2 raised to 9 will end in a 2 because 2 raised to 9 would have 2 complete cycle of 4s 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1 and then the 9th one will end in a 2 2 raised to 41 will end in a 2 2 raised to 81 will end in a 2 so whatever the number is you ask yourself if you divide by 4 what happens here we have 125 125 tells us that we have 124 complete cycle and then we have one more step to go it will end in a 2 2 raised to 125 will end in a 2. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? We're done with the unit digit. Tomorrow we'll do something, something new, something different, okay? I know.